what's up guys welcome back to the channel last video i commented tonight i rest any topics matchups and videos you want me to talk about how about a guide on how to use the dash assault and defect effectively okay so we're going to start by breaking down the deflect shield and some of the common mistakes that players make when they use the deflect shield now one of my pet peeves is that players use the deflect shield on wake up to alleviate pressure that's the, the whole goal uh, the deflect shield is to alleviate pressure and yes it gives you pushback on wake up but it doesn't really solve your problem now the patch has been out for over a month now and a lot of players have already developed strategies against this like for instance deflect shield is weak to moves that have forward momentum so i don't even have to make no adjustment i could just I can just go along with my normal block string and just counter deflect shield. And even players that don't have forward momentum, they can still always use wild assault to counter this. So this is why it's not good to just throw out your burst on wake up. Not to mention you still have to worry about grabs. So you might just you might just end up mixing yourself up. <laughs> you might mix yourself and you gambit it 50% of your burst. Now you're like stuck in a corner and you're down 50% of your burst. So you can see how that's a problem. So you don't really want to use this on wake up and it's certain characters that don't even have to make adjustments. Like Nago, Nago players, they have forward momentum just in their combo string. I didn't even get nowhere. Like it pushed them back a little bit. Just see, he still comboed me. I used two, two deflect shields. So the deflect shield, it can be useful in certain situations. I have to make you aware of all the weaknesses and strengths, but even with those counters, even with those strengths, they're like a huge downside to it. So like how I would use the deflect shield in, in the situation, I would use it in certain 50 50 situations so situations where you got block high or low like a sudden player or eno player but even then that still could be risky because it still can be grabbed so they could always bait out your deflect shield so i'm gonna show you some examples where you can use it in 50 50 situations Okay, so yeah, those are some situations that you can use the deflect shield in. But like I said, it still counters to them. You could always get grabbed. The Eno player could bait it out. And plus, just just generally, it's not smart to use it on wake up because you're playing a game with a thousand wake ups. <laughs> so some players don't even attack players as soon as they wake up because they gotta worry about DPs. They gotta worry about swoop. They gotta worry about backdash. There's a lot of stuff you gotta worry about. You gotta worry about gold burst. So you might accidentally just use deflect shield when you got two meter below. And your opponent is not even trying to like attack you and wake up so you might just like doom yourself just by waking up deflect shield so yeah those is like one of the reasons why i just ne you never see me use it because i rather just wake up dp and then use one of my tension bars to stay safe rather than deflect shield so yeah you want to use your deflect shield in certain points of their combo block string the most absolute best situations that i've i've seen and use the deflect shield in is in situations like where it involves like a setup or a projectile so like for instance like this so this this pushed me back and i just lost my mix up because he used the deflect shield now while this is a strength i have to let you know about the weaknesses so while you can use it on wake up i could just negate the pushback with rc I think I could actually do it faster. So yeah, I can just negate your pushback with the RC. So if you see that your opponent has tension gauge or you think your opponent is good enough to just counter deflect shield in that type of way, don't even use it, <laughs> you know? 
if they don't have any tension bars on their setup, then use it. And I'm, I'm going to show you some examples where you could use the uh, deflect shield and it being the most effective. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I hope that answered your question when it comes to deflect shield. Uh, like I said, it's a lot of strengths and there's a lot of weaknesses. It, at the end of the day, you're just gambiting 50% of your burst. Uh, if you feel like it's necessary against opponent, like where the mix up is just too crazy thing and you got to use it and you, you use it, but you got to be aware of the weaknesses that come along with it. And hopefully you being aware of the weaknesses can help you better use the deflect shield. So yeah, we're going to move on to the next one. Okay. So wild assault, wild assault could be used in a variety of ways to, to be put simply, it's an overall pressure tool across all three different versions, a pressure in different kind of ways and they have slight different properties so we're going to start with the orange one because that's the one i'm most familiar with you know i'm a leo main and he has the orange wild assault now the unique thing about the orange wild assault is that when you use it it propels your movement forward now this could be utilized in a whole bunch of ways like air combos not with leo because leo air attacks suck but like let's, let's see Let bring him over here off so yeah if you're like a soul player you could do stuff like this all right i fucked up I'm not a soul player okay. so you can utilize the the wild assault in that type of way that's screen to screen full screen i just you know <laughs> that's the unique thing about the orange wild assault it's good for breaking walls I just full comboed him across the screen. Um, like I said, Leo, he doesn't, you know, I can't utilize this function because Leo air attacks suck. But if you're like of any other character, you can do stuff like this. But for me, I also use the forward momentum from the wild assault, but not in that sort of way. So usually when I'm using wild assault with Leo is to try to attack their block strength. And I'll use the, the forward momentum to kind of push the opponent in the corner so I can then begin to pressure him. So I'm doing one of two things. I'm building my meter and I'm navigating my opponent to the corner. And then once I get that 50% meter, I could do another mix up that can open them up. I probably do like 50% damage. So though, that's another way you could utilize the wild assault both in the ground and in the air. Outside of that, you wanna use your wild assault to diminish your opponent's burst gauge. In a situation where you either need to lower the person's burst gauge so you can close out the round or break the wall. And let's say the opponent has low health, you get a counter hit and then you immediately get them. You're doing like 25% before, you know, he gets his burst gauge back. Yeah, that's roughly like 25%. So in that situation, you can use the uh, wild assault to kind of close the round out, kind of cheat your opponent out the burst, uh, either when you're breaking the wall or closing the round out. So yeah, let's move on to the white wild assault. Okay, so the white wild assault. The unique thing about the white wild assault is that it has guard crush properties. And it leaves you pretty plus on block. Not to mention it has invincibility frames. But it is still susceptible to grabs. Now, you could do a whole bunch of interesting things with the white wild assault. One of them being that it beats wake up supers and DPs. which is really cool. So you can do a whole bunch of things with the white wild assault. Um, and another cool thing about the white wild assault because of the invincibility frames, 
say if an opponent is like in the corner pressure living hell out of you you could just kind of just weave through their block string pressure and the last cool thing about the white wild assault is that it creates a life altering 50 50 especially for like potemkin players so just to show you let me so i set the opponent to you know do a a, a, a 2p not command grabbed <laughs> now i'm gonna set the opponent to jump Yeah, so you literally got to guess when you're in this situation, especially for a Potemkin player. It is it's literally, it's quite literally a 50-50. Like you got to guess between losing 50% of your life with command grab or 50% of your life with like a combo string. So when you're playing Potemkin and he does this, you're literally guessing for your life. You're literally, you're literally guessing an actual 50-50. <laughs> which 50 percent of your life you want to choose to lose so there's a lot of cool things you can do with the white water salt all right let's move on to the blue water salt okay now the blue water salt <laughs> the blue water salt has the best of both orange and white assault while it don't have the forward momentum of orange and it doesn't have the invincibility from white it has the guard crush properties and the ability to cancel normals this gives you crazy block string pressure. And I find it crazy that the people they decided to give this to, like, like, why does, why does Jacko need this? Like, I've been stuck in the corner. I literally had like two birthdays in the corner from her insane block string. And they give her this. It's the cool thing about it. So you could you could like so, so they they'll catch off they'll try to catch off guard with this. Not to mention she can set up right in your face. So I I I just find it crazy. I'm being a little unprofessional on this last one because it's really disgusting the things you can do. <laughs> I really was like yesterday I was stuck in the corner almost like 30 seconds fighting a jacko because she could do this <laughs> and I couldn't do nothing about it. <laughs> I couldn't do nothing about it. I literally could have took a nap. I'm not even lying. I could have took a nap how long I was in the corner. The characters they decided to give this to is kind of crazy. Of all people, she don't need it because she don't struggles in, th in this department. Like the fact that she could do this and then just keep pressuring. I don't have the, the, the tech to do this, but, but I know that, yeah, she started her stuff like that and then it just went downhill like she she <laughs> she armored them up and then i was just sitting there i was just cruising i was just i was a spectator at this point i wasn't even playing the game i was just wa waiting to see what she was gonna do <laughs> so yeah so that's that's some of the cool things you could do with the blue wild assault i think it's a bit crazy like some of the characters they decided to give this to um i don't think jacko was one of them you know that's not the goal of this video but she shouldn't have this the fact that she could do all this and then combo you into like 30 seconds you lose 30 seconds of your life is crazy yeah but that's pretty much it for the wild assault there's not too much to go in it it guard crushes and it special cancels we kind of already discussed these topics with the other ones about the stuff you could do but yeah that's pretty much the end of the video guys i hope y'all enjoyed this make sure y'all leave that like rating and subscribe i'm gonna be uploading videos every day like i said so if y'all have any questions just put them down below you don't have to keep repeating questions every video i will get to them i'm not skipping over nobody everybody's questions will be answered so with that being said i'm gonna see you on the next video peace